Oh, God. Oh, that was a hike. Hey, guys. Welcome back to my YouTube channel after four years. Yeah. I'm going to be doing a reaction to my first video. I got my Mac right here sitting. So I'm going to watch this. I'm going to do a reaction, see what I was doing back in the day. And then I'm also going to show what I do now because I know I don't do what I used to do. No. So let's get into it. First of all, that music. <laughs> Everybody in the baby mama had that music on YouTube. Oh my gosh. And this little, it's the font for me. To begin, I'm going to be using. <sighs> the Tarte. Mm. Tarte Clean Slate Primer. And I'm going to be putting this in my T-zone area. Oh my God, look at my short hair. And now look at me. Period. Not only mattify my face. Oh my God. Those brows are terrible. Mm. Let's start with that first. Let's get these brows out the way. Yeah, because that's you're not gonna do that. So first things first, I'm gonna ooh, I was gonna go with a pomade today, but I'm kind of lazy, so I'm just gonna use the Anastasia Brow Wiz, and I use dark brown and medium brown. So first, I'm gonna brush these hairs a little up. Keep it quick, simple, quick and simple, short and simple, cute, and whatever. You know what I mean. So I'm just taking this sort of in the middle, not in the really middle, like one third ish. And I go like straight up. So that way I can get like the first part of the brow in. And then I just fill in any gaps and then brush it up. Another thing I don't do anymore is I don't fill in the top of my brow and like connect it i just literally just get an arch on there a little tail connect it to the line i was making earlier and i just like feather it up okay now i'm going to clean that up with the Too faced born this way concealer let's take a little bit on the back of my hand like this probably a little too much but who cares? And then the only brush I've really I've ever used to clean up my brows is I can't even tell you which one, but it's the Anastasia one. It's the one that's like this little flat one. I don't use anything else. Nothing else. I'm gonna know when I'm gonna edit this. I'm gonna look back and be like, oh my god, my brows are terrible. But right now they look kind of they look kind of fire. You better talk to them before I do, because I'm hurt of feelings. They look kind of they look kind of fire. Okay, for primer, I'm going to use two, actually. I know what to use. First one's actually gonna be the milk makeup primer. I love this one. And then let me grab my other one. Any other primer I use, I love this one. This is the Laura Mercier Blurring Pure Canvas Primer. Oh my god, my the face is... primer I'm going to be using is the Make the Forever Step 1 Smoothing Primer. And I'm going to be focusing this on the rest of my face, so that way my foundation- My face was mad! <laughs> Not only did I use that Tarte primer, but I, then I used the makeup forever. I know my skin was porched. It goes on flawlessly. She was mad and she wasn't going nowhere. To correct the darkness under my eyes and around- So that's a new thing I do, or rather don't do. I don't color correct anymore. Um, I've gotten a little lazy tired annoyed tired of it basically i'm out i'm going to be using the mac pro conceal and correct palette in medium deep and i'm going to be using a you know and i think i still have that somewhere <laughs> for to conceal a buffer brush from zoe not me with the detail 
They can't. <laughs> Did I do a type of brush too? Foundation today. I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow in Classic Tan. And I'm going to be buffing this out with the Morphe M439 and then later with my beauty blender. Okay, pause. I still have that foundation and I low key still use that foundation, but over time, like, I wanna say my skin tone has sort of changed. So I can't get away with that foundation anymore. So I have to kind of use a darker foundation because, you know, my face and my neck don't match. We're not going to get into that. But yeah, I still have that foundation. That foundation is still A1 from the day one, period. Um, Buffing? Let me see this. It's the dots everywhere for me. the dots everywhere first of all this music is loud as heck oh my god <laughs> doing all that um let's get into my foundation so the og and then i mix it in with a darker foundation so i actually do that on the back of my hand i don't i kind of do dots not really i'm gonna do like a pump and slightly a half of the darker anastasia and i think it's 440 c it's not a perfect match but i do what i do once i do concealer and everything oh let me get my makeup up there. Once I do a concealer and bronzer, everything it just all comes together. So I look a little crazy right now, but look, me doing dots <laughs> for old times' sake. You know, my favorite foundation brush now. Oh my god, I live and die by this. The makeup by Mario uh, Sephora. The found his foundation brush that he came out with. Listen, he knew exactly what he was doing. Listen, don't click off. I know I look a little wild, but the concealer is about to save me. Just, just wait. Just wait. For my concealer today, I'm going to be using the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Caramel, and I'm going to be placing oh this God. on my parts of my face, like under my eyes, and I'm going to be placing it on my parts of my face, like under my eyes, on the bridge of my nose, my forehead, my cupid's bow, and on my chin. And okay, I'm sweetie. Blending this out with my beauty blender. Dang, she was trying to explain everything. Relax, okay? Um, I don't use that concealer anymore, but dang. <laughs> she put it all under her under. Oh my God. So I use the black opal uh, stick foundation in carob carob i'll put it in the description box um and i just like this like this like this 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 and this and this just like that i placed it all right there and then i go in my concealer using the Too face and then i do not do that anymore so what i do is i place it right here and then depending on my mood sometimes i'll let this dry down and go in my second concealer or for right now i'm just going to go in my second concealer second my second concealer immediately so this is the maybelline and i have this in a brighter shade this is in 22 wheat and i'll just put that right on top i'll let my concealer dry a little bit so in the meantime let's watch what she's doing i look like some tribal sim symbol i still kind of do but like dang why why was i doing that much like that I 
didn't let that draw down at all. I was getting no coverage. And I went immediately with a beauty blender. That beauty blender said, shoot. I'm taking that concealer. To set my concealer, I'm going to be using a little bit of all three shades in my Kat Von D Shade and Light Face Powder. And then later, I'm going to be using my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. And I'm putting that on the oiliest parts of my face so that way I can stay matte throughout the day. I was demonic with my makeup routine. Oh my God, I do not do that no more. So I kind of use a mixture. I use a little mixture of the Anastasia Loose Setting Powder and Banana. And then obviously the Laura Mercier. Um, yeah, so let's blend out in the meantime. Lord Jesus, I didn't know I was on that. Okay, so I use, what is this? A Luxe, I don't know if you can see it, this is so messy. This is the only thing I use for my bronzer. It's a large angle brush, so any large angle brush. Oh, that's another thing. I don't use a blendy blend, English? Okay, I don't use a beauty blender to blend out my concealer. So I use Makeup by Mario again. I use his cheek um, brush. Five zero nine brush. I'm gonna be contouring my face with the shade and light powder. <laughs> Wait. Hold on. Make it rain, train. Make, it, make, make it. it rain. Okay. This much, and then I'll just tap it off. real techniques it is you can see it and the shade i'm using is oh she's different look how pretty this is so he has a cream on the top and a powder on the bottom using a damp beauty blend sponge <laughs> laura mercier perfect going to clean up my contour now mascara um do i want to apply lashes today do i want to apply lashes today no so a few moments later you know what oh yeah these are cute okay these are actually the Sweet Dream Lashes and the Style in Wifey. Ooh, she's giving. Okay, let's get back I'll to it. I'm using the Makeup Forever Pro Sculpting Duo in 02. And I'm going to be using the highlight shade to highlight the tops of my cheekbones, my bridge of my nose, my cupid's bow, as well as underneath my brows. For my blush today. I was about to say, sweetie, where is the blush? Where is the color in your life? Okay, so I still have the same highlighter. I live by this highlighter. Let's get back to it. I still have that brush palette. Blush? Brush? Okay, whatever number calendar I'm gonna have on how I can't speak English, um, I still have that palette and it's still great. I'm gonna be using this Pinky Nude shade in the Morphe 9B palette, and I'm gonna be placing this between the highlight and my contour with the Morphe E4 brush. Before applying my lip, I set my whole face with Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray and Long Lasting. Um. I'm not going to set my face because I know I'm going to take this off later, so I'm not going nowhere, but 
I'm not doing a purple lip. She's not I, I'm not her. I don't really do colored lips anymore. You'll see me in uh, maybe a pink sometimes, rarely. Mm. So I'm gonna do my signature go-to nude lip. So it's the Limitless Brown uh, number 608 from Makeup Forever. It's their artist color pencil. I also like to just, I learned this from Jackie Anna, uh, go over my Cubist Blow. Cubist Bro? Bro? Bro. Cupid's Bow. So, my lips are lined. Now my go-to lipstick, my nude used to be the Desi and Katie Dose of Colors More Creamer Please, but obviously it's not here anymore, it's limited edition. So the dupe I found is actually Artist Couture and Saucy Gal, this one right here. That's it. If you need a dupe for that More Creamer Please, okay. <laughs> okay okay let's get back to it oh my god this lip is so bold <laughs> thank you so much for watching and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and to subscribe to my channel it's the poses for me <laughs> that was so cute <laughs> So you, this is the finished look. Thank you for watching me watch myself from four years ago. Yeah. So this is what I look like now. This is how I do my makeup now. You know, just a little song, song right there. I'll keep it real natural. Okay. So <laughs> let me get this camera. Um, thank you so much for watching my channel. Uh, what is it? Stay tuned for the next one. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Like, pause. If you're not liking this video already, what is you doing? Okay, if you haven't subscribed already, what is you doing? Get it together, okay?